What's up guys, Ant here, and today we are going to be adding custom colors to our swatches panel in Illustrator. All right, and the only thing we have to do, pull up Illustrator, of course, and let's draw out some rectangles here. So hit M on our keyboard, hit Shift so we can keep it proportionate, keep it square. Okay, that's good. Alt, click and drag over. Now let's change this particular one to a lighter color here. There we go. Now the arrangement, if you want it to be from light to dark, then make sure we will put this on top. Like so, and there we go. Now let's select both of these here. And the tool we're working with today is a live tool, so we'll set our parameters or how we want it to be from the beginning so we'll head on up to object go down to blend and let's choose the options here so we want the spacing to be on specified steps and we'll choose eight for this one here our orientation is fine and let's hit OK all right now we go back up to object and we head down to blend and let's click make all right, that looks good. So this is useful if you want, like say you're an illustrator or an artist and you just want it to be, you found a color palette that you just love and you want to incorporate these particular colors into your artwork. So it kind of makes you stand out. And so when people see your graphics, they can be like, oh, such and such uses these particular colors. This must be his or her artwork let me go check it out so what we'll do here we'll click on this and this is live so we want to make it I guess unalive <laughs> okay so what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and, and um, make it not live so in that case we use the expand function here we we'll go up to object and click on expand now our Expand has uh, a few options here, so object and fill, but we want to expand all of these. So what we'll do is we'll hit OK. All right, now it placed everything in boxes, but it's within a group. So what we'll do now is we'll hit Control, Shift, and G to ungroup everything. And there is our brand new custom colors. OK, now from this point and we're almost done only thing we have to do is head on over here and click on new color group new color group right there now let's hit OK and that's it that's it guys now make sure that you save this because you want to be able to open it up in every instance of Illustrator that you open so you can keep your colors and how we're going to do that is we'll head down here to this little box right here and we'll click on save swatches and we will name it uh, let's see I say maybe pink pink purple <laughs> pink pupil wow <laughs> pink purple Let's just say gradient because how it looks. Okay. And hit save. And we're done. Now, if you open up another instance in uh, Illustrator, then you go here. You click on this little library here and go down to user defined. And there's our custom colors right there. That's it. That's all we have to do, guys. Now take this, operate how you like, make something very creative and awesome and unique. Make yourself stand out. Like always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.